Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. The request has been made. They want to see Solo Sokoa in Ultimate Edition. Anthony James Anderson, I fully agree with you, buddy boy. I think we should go ahead and get started right now. We're going to do it all in this video, too. I'm going to take you through the process. I'm going to take you through the best potential, easiest way that you could do it in your own home without having a torso crack anything, having to need any kind of special utensils like knives. No, it's going to be a simple pop swap, and it's going to happen right now. So again, if you guys do want to see this, definitely drop a like if you guys think that Mattel needs to give us Solo Sokoa in Ultimate. Because as you guys know, the future upcoming Elite that they're going to release, they are going to do the update on the torso. Which I can tell you right now, you guys, this man, he needs it. <laughs> Here I am trying to pop off his arms like a UE. And little did I forget that you can't do that with the Elites. And I'm going to tell you the main reason too. The main request why the WHF community wants to see this man upgraded is because... What the hell did they give this man? Look at the size of this torso. Where in the hell in any given right did they see this coming? So, luckily, we did end up picking up a second Jimmy, and this is the main reason why. So, yeah, this Daniel Bryant, yeah, it's not going to work, buddies. Now, the shirt right here, we're going to put it to the side because we will still need it. Now, the other figures that we're going to need apart from this is, one, get rid of that damn towel, man. As you guys know, we don't like that white towel. It was never accurate. It was never right. So once we actually wrap it all together, we're going to bring that special black towel that we have utilized just to kind of wrap it as a whole. Now for Jimmy, this is where Jimmy's going to come into play, right? This man is going to give us the right torso. And I know some of you may be saying like, bro, I don't know. This is looking kind of small. I think when you compare it side by side, you can actually see that it's still a lot wider and a lot like more depth. I would definitely say more depth as far as the torso that we're seeing with Jimmy versus this regular Elite. So we're going to need the upper half on this. And I don't want all the parts going to waste. I want to definitely maximize this figure best I can. I mean, after all, the man is sold out. Secondhand market is insane. So I still wanted to utilize the remaining parts of this for my big dog, right? For my Tribal Chief promo. So I still want to use the legs because before I was using like the old style of Usos, which again, it did work. But at the end of the day, it did not have the brand new molding and the accurate look that we do see. Plus, you get the whole shoe upgrade. So again, it's going to be more of like a two-figure upgrade deal. We're going to get my promo Big Dog Ultimate Edition with the lower legs. And then we're going to use the upper half. And then as far as doing the whole conversion, you guys, very simple, man. It's going to be pretty cut and dry. So I still want to use the arms right here for Solo Sokoa. I still want to capture all of the tattoos. We're not losing any of the pinless double jointed elbows. So all that still carries on. I'm going to go ahead and transfer it over here to the ultimate. I'm just going to go ahead and heat up the sockets, pop those on. And that's basically what's going to go down with the lower half extremities. Because as you guys know, both of these figures are on the ball hip joint. So all that is going to get all that beautiful treatment. All we're going to have to do is heat these up and go ahead and pop them off. We're going to go ahead and swap these legs onto over here. And then we're going to swap the head scan onto over here, as well as the rest of the remaining hands and arms. That being said, let's go ahead and take these boys to the workshop. Yeah, Solo Siko and Ultimate. Umaga Spike. All right, so here we have all three gents all pulled apart, ready. I got my lucky blow dryer. Let's get the blowing, man. Not too shabby. The big dog also benefiting from the remaining bits. Look at Roman Reigns. Now you can throw it up. You are officially have been declared the one with the freshy freshy. Sorry, let's get the hell out of here, man. Let's talk about Solo because this is what Mattel should have at least potentially made a more of an effort to get a more accurate torso on the fig. And I think that the WHF universe has made the official right request. Like even with a shirt, dude, you can already tell that this is leveled up from previous scale before. I really love this. I'm going to take out the shirt too for you. That way you guys can go out and check out the full detail. The other beautiful thing, you guys, I mean, apart from the fact that we get another Jimmy, is that now we got two Usi Usis with a hat. As you guys know, Jay was the only one that brought the hat. So by picking up two Jimmys using discount code HERO, you're going to get that unlocked. Plus, Solo Sokoa on Ultimate. All right, let's check out that torso, you guys. We're going to pop off the left arm. We're going to pop off the right arm. And I am going to give you a word of advice. I'm going to definitely suggest to you, when you do heat up the lower legs on Solo Sokoa, 
definitely do it a little bit longer than what you normally would. Mainly due just to the whole fact that they messed up even on the sockets, bro. Instead of the easy pop-off as most ultimates or now elites have, it had the honeycomb traditional style. So it was a lot harder to get that off. But luckily, the legs that they ended up utilizing, they still used the same style if they had the ball hips. So again, very easy, very simple. You do not lose any of the drop hip, which I'm sure some people would definitely have preferred to not have that. <laughs> I can't tell you how many people are not fans of this, but really nice, man. You still get all that beautiful articulation plus the scale. Check this out, you guys. Like, this is right. I mean, I mean, sure, it could be a little bit thicker, but I think if you had like the little sash piece going around, which I'm definitely going to play out some potential. So turn on that notification bell because I still want to mess around with this. So as you guys know, we just basically popped that off as you guys just saw that we heated it up, popped that on the new ones we also got the arms from the official solo sokoa figure so no parts were harmed nobody was broken nobody was busted and we're dropping a like too if you guys are benefiting from getting your solo sokoa converted into ultimate edition that way you can have all the ones officially declared oh hold on we got to do it up you guys we can't have this man laying around wondering why the hell the one wasn't brought unless if we throw it up right look at this oh yeah Solo Sico and Ultimate Edition. Give me your thoughts. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Do you guys think that Solo should have already been brought here in UE? I mean, I know given the fact the guy just started a couple years back. I mean, the guy's doing great. He's over here with the big dog. And I know you guys are also want to put that damn towel on here. Fix. Let me see what it looks like with the towel. Look at that. This is what the WHF universe is doing right here. Once we have officially declared Solo Sokoa in the Ultimate Edition. Give me your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think about it. Do you guys want to see Solo Sokoa in the UE lineup made by Mattel? If you guys do, we got to let them know, right? I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button. Drop a like. And we'll see you, my friends, on the next one. Honor the Oost. <laughs>